Hi, I'm Alice. Welcome to Dolly Vana. As you can see, we still have our Christmas tree up. We keep it up till Twelfth Night, which is tomorrow as I'm filming this, so I'm going to review some of my Christmas presents in front of the Christmas tree. One of the things I got for Christmas, in fact, the only doll that I got for Christmas this year because we were trying to kind of rein in and because actually Monster High and Ever After High haven't really come out with new dolls that I want lately, but I did get I'll show you the empty box because I couldn't wait to debox it. I got the giant Cleo playset, the one that you've seen me eyeing up in Toys R Us, which is so big that it will just barely entirely fit on the screen. Now you can see from the pictures on the box and from what's behind me, you may be familiar with the Scaris playset cafe one, which I also own one second. So if I get out of the way of the camera, you can see that I have the whole thing set up. Now I know neither playset comes with Deuce, but really, I mean, she bought him a piece of cake and everything, so he had to turn up. All of the other dolls are jealous and want to join the party, but there isn't quite enough seating. Now I have to say, the extra seating is one of the reasons that I was so happy to have the Cleo playset. It's not just that it comes with another Cleo doll and I want all the Cleo dolls, but let me go ahead and show you the doll. This playset does come with little forks that they can hold. It's very cute. Now she has, for some reason, I had been under the impression that the Cleo with this playset was not fully articulated, but as you can see, she is fully articulated and she has normal looking elbows. She also has quite a cute face up. It's not my favorite Cleo face up. Are you in focus there, dear? Come on, focus on the doll. Come on, focus on Cleo. Right, I may have to go back and do another shot of her for you. This still looks like it is not focusing on Cleo's face. Well, anyway, she has kind of a nude eyeshadow with a faint, very faint metallic gold to it, and I don't like the color of her lipstick at all. She comes with this necklace, which is a slightly flimsier version of the one that she has in, I think it's School's Rule. These earrings are also a repeat. The shoes, I'm not sure if those are a repeat. The dress is new and the dress has got print all the way around. It's got a little bit of net ruffle at the bottom and a sewn on bit of gold for the belt. Um, it's not my favorite piece of Monster High clothing, but it's not my least favorite piece. And her hair is actually, it's a little bit goopy, but it feels like it's just product, like this should wash out. But I do like the colors. Let's see, once again, come on, can you focus on her face? I'm gonna have to come and watch this later because I'm holding my hand in front of my face so I can't see if it's focusing on her face. So there's Cleo. Now, what else does the playset come with? Yes, you're going to have to sit over there for the moment. Deuce can sit next to you. He won't mind moving. So the playset comes with two of these chairs, which is handy, and they are the same chair that comes with the Scaris set. They are a slightly different color. This is the Scaris one. I hope my camera is picking these colors up correctly. And this, yeah, this is actually slightly less purple than it's appearing on camera. They're both shades of pink, but different shades. You were sitting before. Right. So two of these. It also comes with this, which has fallen over already, <laughs> which I think is a recast from the Catacombs playset. Um, crying out for some paint work, it's just plain blue.
And then it comes with, I'll show you the food in a minute. It comes with a cafe table, which is exactly the same as the Scouse playset table, except that the table bit itself is black. On the Scouse playset, this bit is purple. So you may think, why would I want to of exactly the same cafe table? But quite frankly, it feels a lot more like a cafe with more than one table. So I like that. Now, food. The food is sort of weird in this playset. It comes with a cake. Uh, let's see if I can get it to focus on the cake. The cake is uh, somewhat obnoxious, or it might be a series of cupcakes. I'm not sure if it's cupcakes on a stand or a cake. Maybe it's cupcakes. It comes with one very small cake. One very small cup. One extremely large piece of cake on a plate that is, well, I think Deuce can probably hold this quite nicely. It's quite large, but yes, there we go. Deuce, who needs a fork? Just hold your cake with both hands there, please. There we go. The aforementioned forks, which are teeny and extremely cute, and they can actually hold them. A tray of macarons, which is nice because it's Paris. Now I'm going to have to move this thing to get to the rest of them. Rather oddly, more Ghoul's Rule recasts. So it's the cauldron from Ghoul's Rule but a different color. I don't have mine handy at the moment, but I'll see if I can find it to take pictures. And then the ladle, which is exactly the same. Two goblets for the punch. Now these are slightly odd. They're kind of a squishy material and they really don't stand up very well on flat surfaces. That reminds me of the main bone I have to pick with this table. This textured surface. Let's see if I can get the camera to pick this up. Maybe against my hand. It's a sort of nice wrought irony textured surface. And the small food, like this cup, will absolutely not stand up on it. The openings in it are just the wrong size. Yeah, it'll sort of go at a tilt. The goblets I'm having trouble getting to stand up on it at all. And uh, one last thing, which is a, a ridiculously giant sized beaker of goo, which I think um, the science dolls are probably going to take over because it's definitely a beaker of goo. And then it does come with this shelf set for you to put everything on. Most of it fits on the shelves. The the, uh, the cauldron really doesn't fit on the shelves very well. It does have a nice back bit so that it's not going to fall over. So I like that. Now I'm just going to do a brief comparison to what the original Scaris set came with. Pardon me while I move so that you can see the Scaris display. Right, so these two, of course, are their own playset. They didn't come with the Scaris set. Now, I think you saw that I bought these guys. I don't think I've reviewed them. Um, I'm more or less happy with them. Amanita has a very, very tiny paint defect, which is never going to show up on camera on her eye makeup. Um, but her dress is really nice. It comes with actual soft lace at the bottom. And they come with the uh, the goblet of creatures, because uh, who doesn't like drinking creatures? Um, I will say her hair ornament is really cute. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe if I move out of shot, it's got a little face in it. I really adore that. So if you go sit there, 
Now this Nafara, I just agonized over whether to get her because in the box she just looked so awful, all of them looked awful, and indeed her, her fringe is rock hard here, I haven't tried to do anything with it. But actually, I have to admit, once I'd gotten her out of the box, I did really like her. So, let's see if I can get this to focus on her. Not sure if it is. Um, and she comes with the another Goblet O creatures to drink. So yeah, I, unexpectedly, I'm quite happy with her. Her ears are not pierced, so I'm going to have to do that because I've got some extra earrings that she could have. And she has this um, totally cute scarab belt. So my, yes, I, I have to say, much more pleased with her than I thought I would be. I kind of ummed and awed while well, you've, you've seen me umming and awing over whether I would buy her. Um, but now, especially now that I have the full cafe set, I'm really, really pleased that I, that I bought her. And they came with this, which I think may be a recast from the Homic Abbey set. And actually a much more elaborate bit of cake that has eyes on a much tinier and daintier plate. So this is, this is one of the weirdnesses. I can have that back for a minute, Deuce. So, you see the difference in the size there, the size of plate. The cake is actually the same size cake, but with a different thing on top of it. Um, I think it's some kind of lizard or bug or something, um, but because it doesn't have any painted detail, I'm not utterly certain. So here's the cafe table from the original set. As you can see, it's all one color. The, um, the tops are also not quite the same. This one is a more transparent pink, and this one is an opaque pink. But now the food... So the original set comes with a little vase with skulls on it and some flowers, quite highly detailed. It comes with the most adorable pudding bat. I hope that's in focus there. I really, really love that one with little eyes painted on. And a bottle that's shaped like the Eiffel Tower and a little uh, matching goblet for that one. Hope that's coming out in focus. And then a couple of cakes. The yellow one has a little spider on top and may look quite familiar, yet this is completely a recolor of the yellow cake with the spider on top. That's all right. It's quite cute. And again, it makes the set look a bit more like it matches up. And then this one comes with a cup of coffee. Uh, let's see if I can get the, the side view for you. It's a cup of coffee with a little ghoulish face in it. I really hope that that is coming out in focus because it's quite detailed and cute. And then, of course, the piece of furniture that I really wanted the original Scaris set for is this really cool bench, which it's sort of less of a verdigris color in person than I'd hoped, but it is still really cool and I love it. And then of course the, uh, the coffee machine and a little shelf for the pastries, uh, which all have exquisite detailing. This one even has a paint job on the skelet on the back. And possibly one of the least useful playset pieces. Um, this giant cafe cart. This cart actually made me delay opening this playset for a long time because it is super gigantic and I don't have anywhere to display it. So unfortunately, it will probably have to go in a box somewhere. Although now that I have more cafe pieces, I'm really tempted to clear off a shelf and do the cafe properly. Um, I do love all of the detailing on it and the very cute 
fat ornament at the top. And my backdrop has just fallen over because the cart was holding it up. But you can see, I like saving. So as I was about to say before my camera very rudely ran out of battery, I like to keep these backdrops so that I can do shelf dioramas. And I think with some luck, with this one, if I pose the cart just right, I can get it to look like Draculaura is actually standing behind it serving me coffee. Another brief pause while my camera ran out of space on the memory card. It was full of photographs of my Monster High advent calendar, which if you look at my Tumblr page, you can see. Meanwhile, thank you for sticking with me through this long and rather rambling double play set review. I'm very happy with it and I will probably play with it a lot more now that I have more pieces that go together. So for now, it's goodbye from Cleo and bye for me. Thanks for watching. See you next time.